to know. I'm trying to put his name in his watch for Arizona. And the pitch. And to know. Yes. Blown this game wide open. And it's 8 to 2. His first home run of the playoffs. And oh my goodness. Maybe also know off the bench and on the board. A uh, grand slam here in the bottom of the eighth. How much is that? Magelson, no. Oh, he's getting love from it. Hello and welcome back Crash Nation. Here we are in the game three of the World Series. The first game at Chase Field here. And we are looking to make a statement in the series after winning the first two at Tropicana. The Arizona Diamondbacks are making a statement. They got swept in last year's World Series against the Blue Jays. And they are not going to let that happen again. And right now, they have the potential to sweep this World Series as the Tampa Bay Rays offense has just come out flat. Game 2 definitely gave up the most runs we've had so far against us in a game. But our bats did come alive and we managed, managed to steal a victory there. As we are going to Jack Flaherty in Game 3, the $35 million man. Seeing if he can prove he can earn his contract here today as he makes the game three start. And we can try go up 3 0 in this series and try and get one more win for the Diamondbacks' second World Series title. Flaherty's made three starts in the playoffs 386 ERA, 21 strikeouts to four walks, whip 107. He is trying to make things happen. Here is Randy Rosarena leading off for the Tampa Bay Rays here today. Alright people, let's get going. Game 3, first pitch about to be underway. Flaherty with the pitch. And that is going to be a sinker just inside for a ball. Rosarena, 121 home runs through 6 years in the majors. The former Cardinal. Trying to make something happen here as he hits one hard in the left field. Canzone will run that down playing left field today. Ian Happ still hurt. Has not played a game in the World Series yet. Hopefully be back tomorrow. 25 home runs for the post for the Rays in the postseason. So their offense has been lighting it up to this point. Wander Franco, 2-1 count. And he pops one up. Perdomo should be there. And he will make the catch for the second out. Six pitches, two outs. Early start for Flaherty here in the top of the first. Perdomo not letting the pressure get to him. Even giving the fans a wave. To tell Marte, the former fan favorite. A 3 0 count. Flaherty. We'll get him to swing on that one, and it's going back to the warden track, but it's caught. And that will end the top of the first. One, two, three, go the raise. No damage done. KL Rojas and Mount Castle, one, two, three for the Diamondbacks. As they have to face Shane Baz. That guy's been red hot in the playoffs. 4 and 0, 1.38 ERA through 26 innings, 1.15 whip. 32 strikeouts. The man's been red hot for the Rays. Hottest pitcher in the playoffs. Be a tough matchup here. Corbin Carroll trying to get something going here against the Tampa Bay Young Ace. Leading off Carroll. Just hitting under 300 in the playoffs. Heating up himself. Looking for a pitch. First pitch swinging high fastball. And he gets under that one just too much. And the right fielder there is there. Austin Meadows. Makes the play. One pitch, one out. As the Diamondbacks have a tough test here. See if the offense can pull away. This offense has not been doing its thing so far. But game two changed all that. But Rojas strikes out on a high fastball. Defending the strike zone. 1-0 count. Mountcastle. He gets a pitch. This one has a chance. It's going. It is 
gone. Ryan Mountcastle, two out home run. His second of the playoffs. He blasts that changeup right over center field wall. And the Diamondbacks have an early lead here. That is what they needed versus the hottest pitcher in the playoffs. Mountcastle lets them know one, two, three innings are not going to be so easy today. Ryan Mountcastle batting third and proves why today as he gets him on the board. With that beautiful swing, 417, the distance, 108 miles an hour off the bat. 1-1 one, one count for Kelly. Oh, and a 99 mile an hour. Just under that one. Austin Meadows will make the catch. Ryan Mountcastle gets the Diamondbacks on the board early on here in game three. So we go top two, up one nothing. One two count, Brandon Lowe, top of the second. Flaherty gets him striking out with a nasty slider there. And Jack Flaherty's first strikeout of the day. Nasty slider inside, cuts at him. And Lowe defending that swing, can't make contact. Frank Schwindel, 3-1 count. Flaherty on deck. And he's going to walk Meadows there with Schwindel coming up. My goodness, one on, one out. Frank Schwindel does have some power. But jammed, Perdomo for one. Why not a double play to end the inning there? My goodness, Flaherty unscathed. Doesn't matter if he gives up a walk. He'll follow it up with a double play all day. Perdomo to Luciano. And that beautiful double play ends the inning. Bottom half. Paul Dion, full count. Leading off here. He gets a pitch. This one has a chance. It's over the head, and it's a ground roll double as it goes over the wall. Leading off the veteran pit hitter there. My goodness. Thought I had another home run. The left fielder can't make the play. Rose Arena just shy of that one. 0-2 count. Man on second. Seth Beer trying to bring in a run. High swing there. He was just trying to do anything with it. Not even a chance. Not even a chance. Marco Luciano, 1-0 count now. It's one of those pitches, you know, where you think you have a chance and all of a sudden, nope, why did he even swing at that? But Marco Luciano comes up big here, and this one will bring in a run as the rookie thinks about two, but he goes back to first. As that's going to be an RBI single for Marco Luciano, the rookie playing in the World Series, step it up. Nice RBI single. As that will extend the lead. Now 2 nothing for the Diamondbacks here. As we are getting to their top ace early and often. Donald Canzone struggling lately. Trying to get back in the lineup. And he smokes one hard. That one drops right in front of Marte. Now a man on first and second with one out. Geraldo Perdomo. He hits a ball. This one right down the first baseline for one. Not a double play, not with Perdomo speed. So now a man on the corner, so two outs. But a nice play by the first baseman there to even make that play, get an out. What a tough throw. Give him props. Corbin Carroll, 2-2 two -two count, two on, two out. 99 mile an hour fastball. He gives him a nod of approval, nice pitch. But Marco Luciano brings in one. So back-to-back -back innings with a run scored, two runs on four hits. For the Diamondbacks here early on versus the Rays ace Shane Baz. So go top third now with Jack Flaherty. Full count. Francisco Mejia leading off. Chase Field getting rowdy. They want the call, but Blue won't give it to him. That is a walk. Now O'Neill Cruz 1 0 counts. Watches a knuckle curve for a strike. Next pitch, Flaherty, change up just a little high, and O'Neal Cruz has made him pay as that one is off the wall over center field. His third home run of the playoffs, and this game is tied. Jack Flaherty, he is just cussing out blue right now. If he got that call, it would have been a solo home run. 
But now this game is tied, and Flaherty makes one mistake, and it's a costly one. 2-2 two, two, two. now. So you need to right back up. No outs, but he's going to fly out to Corbin Carroll as he makes the catch for the first out in the top of the third. So he goes back to the top of the order. Tampa Bay, Randy Rosarena trying to add on to the pressure. 2-2 two, two count. And a nasty slider gets him striking out there. Jack Flaherty looks calm, cool, and collected. Not allowing that two-run shot to get the better of him here today. Jack Flaherty doing things that he's supposed to be doing. Making that money. Wander Franco, the man who loves underage women. He's caught looking. And that's going to be a strike there. O'Neal Cruz ties it up. But Flaherty answers back with two straight strikeouts. And we are going to the bottom of third, trying to retake the lead now. 1-2 count. Josh Rojas looking for something. He smokes one. And almost made contact with Baz's head. As that is a leadoff single for the Diamondbacks here in the bottom of the third. Ryan Mountcastle homeward in the first. He smokes one right through the shortstop there, curveball, perfect liner, back-to-back -back hits to start the third. Mountcastle just waiting on Baz's off-speed pitches, 114 miles an hour off the bat, do not want to get ahead of that one there. 2-2 two -two count, Carson Kelly, Shane Baz, high 98 mile an hour fastball, can't connect with that one, strikes him out, Paul Dion, 1-2 count. He will slowly chop one up the middle for one. And double play. Rays defense steps up here. Nice job by the Rays as they keep this team tied. Arizona can't find a way to break it. After putting pressure on Baz. Chantel Marte. 1-2 count. Chasing one outside. Flaherty strikes him out. And that will start off the fourth in style. Jack Flaherty, his fourth strikeout so far today. Brandon Lowe, 1-1 one, one count. Struck out in the first. Or second, I should say. If I'm being correct. But he's going to fly out to Carroll here. Top of the fourth. Flaherty, only 50 pitches so far. Low pitch count. 1-2 count. Austin Meadows hitting over 300. Maybe not anymore as he strikes out there to end the top of the fourth. And Flaherty showing some swider here in game three. Only one hit through four innings of work so far. Unfortunately, that one hit was a two-run home run. Because the Diamondbacks trying to find a way to put pressure back on the Rays. Full counts. Leading off bottom of the fourth. Seth Beer. He's going to chop one to the second baseman, and he's going to get thrown out here to start the bottom of the fourth. Seth Beer just does not have those legs. Marco Luciano, one for one on the day. Trying to make his mark in the World Series as a rookie. Watches a pitch for a ball, 1-0 count. Showing nice vision from the young shortstop. 1-0 count. He's going to chop one. Baz makes the play. What? A defensive stop from the pitcher there. Thought it was over his head. He says, watch this. One, two count for Canzone. And this one's in the gap. Canzone has his second hit of the day. And he's going for extra bases. Canzone is going to stop at second. So now two on with the runner. And two out with the runner in scoring position. Dominic Canzone, the outfielder there, gets one in the gap. And just like that, the Diamondbacks are threatening again. Perdomo, trying to make things happen. Needs a hit. And he gets one. This one, right at the right fielder. And that will end the inning. No run scored. This game is still tied. Going into the top of the fifth here in game three. It's a tight one. Top fifth, Frank Schwindel, 1-1 one, one count. He hits one right at Mountcastle. Steps in front of that liner for the leadoff hitter to be retired. 
Francisco Mejia. One out, no one. Sinker way outside there for a ball. Jack Flaherty still looking strong so far. Not showing any signs of weakness as he gets Mount Castle. Another ball there. Two outs now. Back to back hits to the first baseman. 1 2 count for O'Neill Cruz. Flaherty looking for some revenge. And he'll get it. The changeup where he wanted it last time. Strike some outs. And Flaherty. Red hot here in game three. Still only one hit through five. Arizona, top of the order, coming up in the bottom of the fifth. Looking to retake the lead here at Chase Field. 2 1 count. Corbin Carroll looking for his first hit of the day. And he might get it, this one. Just hands up enough as Arroz Arena makes the catch in left field. Carroll 0 for 3 now here in game 3. Rojas 2 1 counts. This one jammed. Shortstop is there to make the play. Shane Baz has been pitching quite a bit inside, getting in on the hitter's hands. Need to get uh, some adjustments there. Mountcastle 2 for 2 on the day. One of the hitters that's had his number. This one just under. And Chattel Marte is there. One, two, three. Go to the Diamondbacks for the first time here today. As Shane Baz is starting to slow down the Diamondbacks. Top of the six. Jack Flaherty. 69 pitches so far. Full count to the veteran catcher Zanino. Strike some out. 95 mile an hour. Can't catch up to that one. Seventh strikeout of the day. Randy Arozarena, 0 for 2. He's first pitch swinging. He jams one. Luciano makes the play. First two men are retired in the top of the six. Rays trying to get some momentum here. Tell Marte on deck. Wander Franco, 3 1 count. Rojas, grounder to third. And he makes it look easy. He go to the bottom half of the six. And the Diamondbacks with Carson Kelly, Paul Dion, and Seth Beer trying to make something happen here today. 2-2 Two -two count. Bottom of the six. Baz, 77 pitches. Kelly just pops this one up. He was looking for it. And that's going to be an out. Franco, well under that one. Paul Dion, 2-2 Two -two count. One out, no one. He... Will ground one right to the third baseman. O'Neill Cruz makes that look easy. Spin throw well in time. Seth Beer, 2 for 10 in the World Series so far. 1-1 one, one counts. And he's going to ground one to the first. 1-2-3 to the Diamondbacks again. And Shane Baz has settled in. Got to find a way to get to him. But top 7, 2-1 count to Marte. And Mount Castle from first. Makes another stop. Not letting any ball get past him so far in this series. Mount Castle's defense is definitely a nice bonus. Jack Flaherty, 1-2 counts. And the shift, Rojas playing short. Makes the throw, and that's 1-2 man retired once again in the top of the seventh. Austin Meadows, 3-0 count. Jack Flaherty just not trying to leave anything in the middle. Is just going to walk him here. A two-out walk. Frank Schwindel trying to make him pay for it. Full count. Jack Flaherty. Oh, gives up a hit, but Canzone runs it down. And we go into the bottom of the seventh. Still tied. Is trying to find a way to take an advantage over the Rays here at Chase Field. Jack Flaherty looking strong here. Rays are going to the bullpen. Peter Fairbanks. We'll start things off on the bottom of the 7th. First the rookie, Luciano. Who gets a pitch to hit. This one has a chance. It's gone. But Marte is back there and he will make the catch for the first out. Fairbanks. Four pitches, one out. One, two count for Dan Zone. And he gets hit with a pitch. So now there's a man on base with one out. Perdomo. Trying to make something happen here. One on, one out, bottom of the seventh. Fairbanks gets a pitch for Domo, smokes one. This one is in the gap. 
Canzone's getting the wave. He's to third. He's going home. And Perdomo to third. And Arizona has the lead once again. Perdomo, another big hit in the World Series. Clutch hitting from Perdomo. And Diamondbacks. Late in this game. Take the lead. to tell Marte. Not enough speed to run that one down. And the Jap up against the wall. And now another run. Threatening to come in. Corbin Carroll 0 for 3 on the day. Looking for a hit. Trying to bring in a run. And he smokes one. And this is going to be a second run of the inning. Two run lead restored for the Diamondbacks. And Chase Field is going nuts. Corbin Carroll, the rookie, smokes it. Right past the first and second baseman. Lines it with authority. 2-2 two -two count, Rojas. Strikes out there. Can't catch up to that one. Looking for something different. Ryan Mountcastle, he homered in the first. Now with a man on base. When two outs, he's trying to do it again. So you look back at the first inning there. Starting it off with a bang. 2-0 count for Mountcastle. And he gets jammed. This one will not drop, though. It's caught as that will end the seventh. But they get two runs here from Perdomo and Carroll. And four runs on nine hits. The Tampa Bay Rays have some work to do as we go into the eighth. Stefan Krishan comes in now for his fourth appearance of the playoffs. He has given up some hits, but he's kept the runs off the board here out of the bullpen. Seeing what he can do. 0-2 count. Francisco Mejia. The pitch. And he's jammed. Rojas in the shift. Makes the play. Leadoff hitter is down on a ground out there to start things off. O'Neill Cruz homeward earlier. No, he's jammed. And Perdomo makes a nice play from shorts. 1-2 hitters down on ground outs. Jammed inside on soft contact. Zanino watches a pitch for a ball. Sinker, 1-0 count. Next pitch. And he hits one against the shift. And that's going to be a single. A 2-0 single to raise second hit of the day. So the Diamondbacks pitching staff is doing its thing. 3-1 count for Rosarena. Grounds it right to Berdomo. And that will end the 8th there. Nice job out of the bullpen and the defense. Keeps the Rays in check. Only gives up one hit. And Arizona's have been all over Tampa Bay here today. Not even close. Well, it is close. But you know what I mean. Drew Steckenrider now comes in out of the bullpen for the Rays. Trying to keep the score tight. 0-2 count for Carson Kelly. 0 for 3 on the day. And he hits one hard. And that's going to drop right in front of Marte. And that's a leadoff hit. For the Diamondbacks here to start off the 8th. Carson Kelly. One of the hotter hitters in the playoffs. Paul Dion. 2-1 count. Trying to make a statement play here. And he smokes one. Paul Dion back in the lineup. And he shows why. He smokes that. And it's a 4-run lead. Paul Dion. Second home run of the playoffs. A much needed depth piece we've got in the offseason. Off the bench. Nice pinch hit home run there. When you need him. Paul Dion. He's in the lineup today. And he makes us just absolutely enjoy that one. Paul Dion. Admiring that one. Diamond Bucks now up by four. Make that six to two. 433 feet for Paul Dion. 1-1 count. Seth Beer trying to add on to the tally. He hits one hard. This one has a chance. But it's caught in the left field by Rosarena. Trying to stop the bleeding. Marco Luciano 0-2 count. 1 for 3 on the day. He's going to hit a 12-6 curve right in front of Marte. That's a one-out single. Marco Luciano 2 for 4 now on the day. Dominant can zone 2 for 2. He gets jammed, pops that one to O'Neill Cruz at third. 
Luciano back safely at first. Perdomo trying to add things on here. Strikeout to end it. Nasty stuff there. But damage is done. Paul Dion. Two run blast here to extend the lead. Two runs. Three hits for the Dimebacks in the bottom of the eighth. And the Rays bullpen has failed them here so far in game three. Can their offense find a way? And the top of the ninth as Lucas Sims comes in. He's six for six in playoff opportunities here. Trying to make it seven for seven. Only five innings of work. 0-2 oh, count to Wander Franco. Nasty slurve inside. Gets him looking. Strikes him out on three pitches. Wander Franco thinking about his 14-year-old wife that he wants to go back home to as he just watches that one called. Full count for Cattell Marte. One out, no on. And change up. He misses there. One on, one out. One, two count. Brandon Lowe hits one. And that's down the foul line. Can zone. He's trying to get it back in, but not in time. So now second and third with one out. The Rays are not going away quietly here. So we are going to Jose Alvarado. Making his fifth appearance of the playoffs. To the lefty. And a lefty dominated lineup for the Rays. Alvarado trying to play savior. Now with 0-1 count. Austin Meadows chops one slowly. So one run will score. And that will be it as the run advances to third. Now there's two outs. Full count. Frank Schwindel. Pitch. Get some swinging. And the Diamondbacks win this one 6-3. to three. Arizona's offense is showing up here in the World Series. And we are up 3-0. Oh, Jack Flaherty. What a gem he pitched. Only giving up one hit through seven innings of work. And the Arizona Diamondbacks battled through Baz. They got to the bullpen. And they added lead to the lead in the seventh and eighth. That is huge. Clutch clutch performance from the Diamondbacks here in game three as we are now one game away from winning the Arizona Diamondbacks second ever World Series and it could be at home field stay tuned people we will see you guys next time and we are looking forward to lifting that trophy next episode until then sayonara everybody hope you're having a good time as we are and it's beautiful